everybody, Chris Paget here with the Happy Place Homestead. Today, we want to talk to you about the things that we love. Really, to encourage all of us on a regular basis, surround yourself with things that lift your spirit, that make you feel alive, that uh, that make you happy. Uh, I think that's a good thing to do, because there's a lot of junk in this world that's trying to tear you down. What you doing? Hanging baskets. What are you gonna put in there? Nothing in the baskets. <laughs> Decorating the kitchen before I get around to finishing the ceiling. This is where I this is where I like to come in the in the mornings when I walk out and I just stare out at the uh, at the animals uh, and the snow for us right now is something that can be so peaceful. Honestly, this kind of stuff to me is what uh, just makes me feel happy. I'm trying to surround myself with the things that I love, the things that uh, lift me up and encourage me, the things that remind me of what's important and. Um, and the truth is there's a lot of things out there that can really uh, just tear you down. A lot of things on social media that can be brutal and people can be aggressive and, and cruel. But um, when you have this oasis, a place that you create or a place that you have that just centers you and puts you back on track, that is invaluable. And, um, and it might just be a family meal or it might be uh, a time of sitting and just laughing together, watching each other, you know, kind of express themselves in such unique ways. All of these little things are small, I mean, pictures uh, of why it is that you do what you do and why it is that you have surrounding you, the people and the things uh, that you have surrounding you. So it, for me, looking out on this property is such a, uh, it triggers so much gratitude in me and uh, it's such a, a, a time of thanksgiving and blessing to just know that uh, I can walk out and I can look at the creation around me and say, you know what, I needed this today. So there are a lot of times that people will come up and if they, for the first time, happen upon my, my library and they realize just how many books I have, which by the way, every single room in our house pretty much is floor to ceiling uh, books. And uh, so they'll always ask the inevitable questions. So have you read all these books? And I remember hearing once this guy say, if somebody asks you, have you read all these books? That just means that you don't have enough books. Um, I think for me, in a lot of ways, living out here on the on the homestead and um, working super hard, there's something about coming inside and being surrounded by the things that I love, which for me, I have, it's not certainly not a photographic memory, but I have in my brain an understanding of where any book is. And, um, and it's just because for kind of a little bit of centering and some peace and quiet, I'll go, I'll stand on the back porch and I'll look out at the animals and I'll look at the beauty around me or I'll come in and I'll just look at the shelves of books. And I know it sounds crazy, but it just makes me so happy. And uh, they're kind of like familiar friends, like people who have actually encouraged me, taken me off away from the insanity around me to a different place of adventure, of you know intensity, or maybe I just needed some encouragement and I read certain books by people that really just lift my soul, lift my spirit, uh, lift my heart. Um, and all of it is for me, it just works, you know, for some people, uh, it doesn't work. They've never really kind of clicked and connected with books. My, my opinion on that is that it's probably, they just haven't found the genre or the author that really does that for them. Cause once, once it happens, it can change your life. Um, plus, I'm kind of a perpetual student. And what I mean by that is I just love to learn. And so whether it's finding out ways that people did things in the old days, how they fed their animals, how they took care of their family when they didn't have a regular income source, those kind of things and stories are so interesting to me. Uh, how can I improve? How can I um, make things, uh, you know, exciting for my family and not just, you know, another task to add to the work list? 
but I also just love books that that take me to a place and just let me imagine what it would be like to to live in that particular time period or or um just a good story that just resonates with my heart um it's all good it's all good stuff like that that really click so i know it seems crazy and i've talked a lot about it but books man they are they're my one big thing that just outside of my family and my farm those books are the things that just make me feel so happy and uh, and you know what's so funny too is that i've actually at a couple of times in my life just given away all my books to make sure that they didn't have control of me you know what i'm saying so so there have been a couple of times that some people were the recipients of uh some some books but over the years, I've just really um, recognized that there's something important about that relationship I have. It's kind of like a little bit like the relationship I obviously have with with music. There's something about it that's really in me. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. I hope you have something in your life that makes you feel that kind of, you know, contentment and encouragement. And of course, uh, it, it needs to be your family, uh, where you live your job, that kind of thing, if you can. But there's got to be something else. Maybe you're a record person or you like games or uh, or maybe you're just really interested in exploring and hiking, all that stuff. Just whatever it is to find is such a blessing. They never lay where they're supposed to lay. They're supposed to be over there, laying in there, but they all go over here in the corner. Hello, this is Theo. <laughs> Certainly one of the things that we, we obviously love is just our fireplace. It's so awesome just to sit there and uh, just kind of uh, enjoy being together around the fire and uh, keep them warm. But we also love just to having a great meal together of something that uh, we know where the, the food comes from and it satisfies and it encourages. And so even this morning, it was kind of neat. I like, it's funny to me, I actually like cooking um let me rephrase this. I'm not very good at cooking, but the things I can cook, I like to cook. So I'm really pretty good about eggs and bacon. And there's a satisfying feeling of making it and then knowing that the people that you love are gonna enjoy it. And so I had the chance to do that today and we're, our eggs are laying like crazy right now. So, um, excuse me, that sounded weird. What I meant to say is our chickens are laying like crazy now. They all kind of matured and decided, hey, let's let's have eggs. Um, let's lay some eggs. And so we're, we're, we're gonna do well this winter, I think, even though they usually slow down during this time. We got, we got some good egg layers. Um, so just cooking for the family and, and being together and laughing. Um, it's just surrounding ourselves with the people uh, that we love and, um, it's great to be able to pour into them and to give to them the, the things that they love. Hi. Hi.